Hi, welcome back to another episode of Nature Aquariums TV, where today we're going to be discussing how to use APT to our Aquarius line of fertilizers to get the most out of your aquarium tank. But before we get to our video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like these. We have been doing a long-term test of the APT line of two hour Aquarius line of fertilizers, algae treatments, and we've been using it in depth here at our store with our sample tanks, and I've actually been using it in a couple other tanks as well to measure their results. And I gotta tell you, I was super impressed with their quality and the knowledge base out there. In going through their website, there's tons and tons of information, and I figured, let me get a video out there that can simplify the process here and to try to explain to you how to best use these products so you can get amazing results at home. One of the first things we want to cover is fertilization and how do we control algae? How do we get the most plant growth? How do we make things to look really, really good? There's a couple of thoughts on fertilization. One of them, you have the estimative index, which is based by Dr. Tom Barr's research and work which says, hey, you shouldn't have any limiting nutrients out there because otherwise plants will stop growing. And when plants stop growing, they're gonna grow algae. That is the basis of most fertilization schemes. They looked at uh, Tom Barr's research and they also found a way how we can adjust it somewhat and to find how do you get the most color out of plants. A lot of it has to do with the nitrogen control or the nitrate control. What does that mean? Plants are gonna grow at their richest colors, reds and yellows, and get that really good growth and coloration when you control the nitrates. When nitrates are in excess, plants are gonna be very, very green. They're gonna do a lot of photosynthesis and they're gonna to try to grow, but they're not gonna pull out those, those colors that people are looking for. This line of fertilization is really aimed for people who are trying to grow plants in the lusher growth, a little bit more compact. So therefore the plants are not shooting all the way to the top with a lot of space between the leaves. It's gonna be a little bit more compact growth with shorter space between the leaves and how to not grow algae, right? Let's start first with a couple of the products that they have. The APT Complete is exactly what it says. It has a ratio of nitrogen, potassium, phosphate, and trace elements in there to complement a tank. This is best suited for a lightly stocked tank. When I say lightly stocked is because you're not gonna have that many fish to produce enough ammonia to be converted in a nitrogen cycle to elevate those nitrate levels. This is also good for a tank that you're running CO2 and that you are having appropriate lighting over 50 moles of light and that you are feeding consistently you're fertilizing every day, either through a doser or using the pump built in. Like I said, light stocking levels. Now you wanna get out the growth, but you also want to turn the plants a little bit redder, a little bit more yellow, those orange colors, and you want your stem plants to be a little bit more compact. This is gonna really feed in into your boosies, your anuvias, and your stem plants. You're gonna dose this based on the recommendation and there's a calculator in, in the bottle. One thing to take into account, you do need to do your weekly water changes. They recommend up to 50% water changes. Personally, we like the 15 to 20% water changes as to not change too much of the chemistry for the fish. If you have a great source of water with the same alkalinity, stable in your fish tank, in other words, your tap water comes out at a KH of three and your tank consistently has a KH of three and you wanna do a 50% water change, go ahead and do it, you'll be fine. For people who their tap water has inconsistent alkalinity or you're using RODI water and you're rebuffering it, please make sure that you observe that the alkalinity levels match your tank and the replacement water. If you have too great of a disparity, not only are you gonna stress your fish, you're also gonna cause algae issues because now you're changing the way the ratio of, of carbonates are in the water, which also affects the amount of CO2 in the tank. APT3 is good for lightly stocked tanks with moderate to strong lighting, with CO2 injection, tanks that you're gonna be doing water changes. 
you can still use APT3 for low light tanks. Just you're gonna cut back that feeding to maybe every two or every three days you're gonna fertilize that because you wanna keep that nitrate at the end of the day. Once the lights are off, do a nitrate test and you really wanna be under five PPM. So the next one I wanna talk about, it's called APT0. The label says one. This formulation has got everything that number three has, except it has no nitrates and no phosphates. You're gonna use this formulation for heavily stocked tanks. Also gonna use this formulation for tanks that your city water already comes in with a lot of nitrate and a lot of phosphate. One of the challenges that we've ran into our store, we had customers, heavily stocked tanks, they're feeding a lot of foods full of phosphates, but they were low in potassium, they were low in traces, and some of the all-in-one fertilizers like Easy Green or an APT3 would add too much nitrate and phosphate already to a tank that already had a lot of nitrate and phosphate. And I'm very happy I picked up this line because with the APT1, we can supplement the potassium and all the traces allowed the plants to use up those existing nitrates and phosphates into your tank. Using that, you're gonna complement and not have a limiting nutrient. One of the things you gotta think about is this. Nitrate is important for photosynthesis and for the creation of complex sugars. It's also involved in the release of oxygen through photosynthesis. Phosphate is the growth indicator that helps plants grow. Potassium is what helps rebuild leaves and your cell walls into the plant. So when a plant is missing or is low on potassium, even though there's an abundance of nitrate and phosphate, it may shoot up and you're gonna have a stem plant with what I like to call the palm tree effect. A long slender stalk with only just a small amount of leaves on the top and devoid of leaves at the bottom, caused by the plant reclaiming their own leaves at the bottom. They view them as a source of potassium, it sucks in that the leaves start developing holes, yellowing, they end up falling out, they create more organics into your tank leading to more algae, and it's not a good situation. By using the APT1, you are now feeding potassium and the trace elements and using up the nitrate and phosphate that's already in your tank caused by either your city water, the fish load in your tank, and by everything else. The other great use of APT0 or APT1 is when you're first cycling a tank, especially if you're doing a fishless cycle. If you end up going the route of a lightly stocked tank, then you would migrate to APT3. If you're gonna heavily stock the tank, then you continue with APT1. We've covered liquid fertilization to fertilize the water column, right? We cannot discount the importance of root fertilization even on plants that you think that are gonna be stem plants, a lot of them grow best when their roots are in nutrient-loaded substrates. This next segment, I'm gonna cover APT Jazz, which are the capsules of fertilization. They actually have uh, nitrogen based on ammonium sulfate. They have phosphate, magnesium, iron in there. They're bound with clay. So when you put these capsules, they're already bound to the clay particles and they're gonna slowly dissolve and they're gonna be attracted by your aqua soil. This is in essence your aqua soil recharge without flooding your tank full of ammonia. By putting them in there, it usually you reload these every two months. So you're not doing these every month like you would with some of the other root tabs. They're gonna really focus on the ammonia in the substrate. This APT Jazz is really a great product for recharging your contra soil and all your soils, especially about three, four months after you've planted them. They were already exhausted. Start getting into a routine and on the package it tells you how many inches each caplet will cover and you'll spread it only where you have soil. So far, we've covered how to fertilize via liquid, how to put fertilization into your tank. We want to cover one more piece. We all love setting up new tanks, right? We like setting them up and fish recycling is the way to go on the tank. We have the APT starter bacteria. And this is not only starter bacteria, but it's adding the APT jazz. So it's gonna be a powder when you're laying out your contra soil. Make sure if you're doing a two inch substrate, 
you go one inch first. You're going to spray this around, basically one packet for a 24 by 12 inch section. A single packet of this will cover, and it comes with potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, and nitrogen, and bacteria. All these things to feed, it'll help promote your growth of the bacterial culture in the substrate. This is also quite handy if you are doing a dry method, right? So in a dry method, uh, say you're trying to grow a carpet of uh, Glosso or Baby Tears and you're wetting everything down, this will continue providing nutrients for the plants and it'll start establishing the bacterial culture because it's got some of the ammonia, it's got bacteria, now you're self-feeding that bacteria without having to flood the tank. You get your carpet going, they're gonna grow super lush and rich. This is the equivalent of power sand by ADA. Very, very similar, that's what you're doing. You can dry start a whole carpet. When you flood the tank, you already have actual bacteria colony growing into your substrate and the plants are getting all their nutrition. APT has two products to help you control algae. When you already covered everything, you fixed your lighting, you fixed your flow, you fixed your PAR, you fixed the water chemistry, you fixed your fertilization, and you still have some of that algae that's growing in there that's giving you a hard time. It's called APT Fix and APT Fix Light. These are not meant for you to just throw into your tank. They come with a little dropper which measures mLs. There is a very specific dosage for BBA, BGA, staghorn, hair, fuzz, thread, and most filamentous algae. Been using this product and I'll put a link to our algae tank video that we did and it completely cleared up the tank without killing any plants or any fish. So they have two different strengths, the regular and the light. The regular should not be used with sensitive animals or sensitive plants like Ballisneria and mosses. It will damage them. For that, you use the APT Fix Light. And those you should be able to use with Ballisneria, you should be able to use them with, with mosses. The way you do is you turn off your filters and you spot treat the areas affected. Since there's a limitation on how much mLs of this you can use per your gallons of water, don't try to spot those everything in one day. Basically, we have multiple areas. Go to area today, you'll hit three spots. Tomorrow, you go hit three other spots. Next day, you re-hit the same spots. What you wanna do is every day or every other day, keep re-hitting the same areas and continue with your water changes, continue monitoring your lighting and everything else. You just have to be patient and you're not gonna fix it in one dose. So we're gonna quickly recap. The way that APT products work are to control your nitrates. You need nitrates to grow your, your plants, but don't have them in huge excesses. This way you control your algae and you increase the growth as far as bushier stem plants by not having them grow so tall that the leaves are spread out. It also encourages for stronger, more vibrant colors because it limits the nitrogen without limiting your potassium, your phosphate, and your trace elements. They're all shrimp safe. The amount of trace copper that they put in is so minuscule that it does not impact shrimp. They focus on two different methods, one for heavy fish load, one for lightly stocked tanks, and then to finish it off, we have the fertilization of the substrate and a product to actually recharge your existing contra soil, your existing aqua soil, to bring it back to that vibrancy and great growth that you did when you first set up your tank. They have a way how to control your algae. If you do have an algae outbreak, whether it be BBA or staghorn, any of these nutrients. I gotta tell you, I've been using these products, have great results, I'm using on two tanks, and I'm really getting some deep coloration in our growth of our plants. If you have any questions, please use the comments below. You can reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd also would love to hear from you guys on what other videos or what other things you'd like us to cover on. We'll take that into consideration and come up and do a video. We couldn't do this without your great support, guys. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing. As a matter of fact, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And you can find the link to all these products that you can purchase on our website and we'll ship anywhere into the country at the end of this video. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day fish keeping guys.